And we do have team coverage this midday of what you need to know, plus that boil water notice that is still in effect. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers kicks off our coverage this midday. So Brittany, what can you tell us? As the timeline goes, we just received an update from Public Works. They say they hope to have this all complete by early next week. But today, the real focus is all happening right here. And I want you to take a look at this. They have been busy since uh, last night. Early this morning, specifically, we're told by Public Works, the focus has been excavating and removing the damaged pipe, which they say could take all day. They've been working all night. I've listened to them all night working. From his backyard, Marvin Noel has a front row seat to repairs on a massive eight foot water main break. Yesterday was a different story. He saw the water gushing. I, I was watching it up this high. You know, it, it was crazy. You know, I've never seen anything like it. And soon, so did the rest of Houston. The impact felt all around the city with the boil order and school and business closures. Oh, I mean, we'll see what we can do as mechanics. I mean, you can't wash your hands, can't do anything like that, so I guess we'll just have to see. Public Works says all the water has drained or been pumped out of the water main, and from Sky 2, you can see the work being done. A spokesperson says the focus today is on excavating and removing the damaged pipe, which they say could take all afternoon. The next phase will be installing the new pipe, which could go through the weekend. All of the repairs may not be complete, they say, until early next week. So again, you can see the work being done out here on the ground today. The goal, according to Public Works, is to have this all completed by early next week. But they say this is a fluid situation. It all depends on how the removal process as well as the installation goes. Of course, we'll, we'll, we will keep you updated while we learn more of those timelines. Here on the east side, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News.